I'm Ilian St. Hilaire and in this video we're going to talk about Mesh Central's multi-display support. One fun trick about Mesh Central is that if you have a remote computer that has multiple displays, you can remote all of these displays onto uh, the Mesh Central website and Mesh Central router. And so we're going to take a look at that today. So I'm going to start with my trusty Mesh Central server here. I'm just running it locally and I'm going to access it on my local web page. Now, of course, as with all these, these demonstrations, I'm uh, using dash dash user admin as the command line here. So I'm automatically logged in as admin. I don't have to go through the uh, login page. Okay, so I have a couple computers. I'm gonna focus on this one, my AMT15 machine. It's actually the one that's on my left um, on the intro screen. And so obviously uh, it runs, let's see, Windows uh, 11 with 64-bit. Uh, and I can do a remote desktop and click connect. And there we go. So there are two displays on this computer right now. <clears throat> Normally there's just one, but I just added one more for this demonstration. And so when you click connect, by default, you will see a full canvas of all the displays. If you had four or five displays, they would all show up here as a single virtual display. And you'll notice right away that if you have the privacy bar, um, on enabled on the um, on the remote device, then the privacy bar will show up on each of the remote displays. And of course, you can uh, do pinning. This is when you flip the little pin on the corner there and you hide the bar and the pinning is independent for each display. So if I go and uh, remove the pin here, then this bar will scroll up and then I can just kind of hover onto this bar and make it scroll back down and then repin it if I want to. There it goes. Okay, so that's one thing. The second thing is on the bottom here, uh, if there is multiple displays on the remote side, you will see these icons and if you hover on them, it will say display one, display two, and then all displays. By default, it's on all displays, but I can flip to display number two, flip to display number one, and just see the display I want. And of course, you know, I can, um, handle this or I can move there and it works perfectly and go back to all displays. So that's a really nice uh, way to switch displays. It used to be a drop down box, uh, but th these icons are just way better. Okay, so, so that's nice. But one thing I do want to highlight is that because there is only one uh, display capture system on the agent, if you go to, um, if you open a separate browser, so in, in this case I have Firefox on the right, Chrome on the left, I'm going to connect to the same computer, then what you'll see is you'll see the, the same screens, the same, um, what, what, the, what the first connection saw on the second. Of course it says two computers watching and you can click on this and see, you know, the admin is watching twice here. And then um, obviously, the, you know, when you move, a screen it reflects on the other but also if I switch to single screen mode it actually switches all of the uh, browsers all the viewers get affected by this so even if you had 20 viewers viewing the same computer as soon as one of the viewers switches displays all of them will switch and that's because the agent only has one um, kind of frame grabber so it's it's being told to uh, switch to uh, one screen or the other and that um, projects to everybody else okay so that's one thing um, another thing to do that I want to show is mesh central router now, if you haven't looked at this tool, it's pretty cool. Um, this is a native tool. In this case, it's built in uh, C-sharp language. It's native on, on Windows. And you, can, you have to download it and run it locally. And then you can type in your server uh, you know, name, your username and password, and log in. And then you'll see in real time, just like the website, the different computers that are uh, on at this moment. So there's my AMT15 machine and I can right click on it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is the AMT15 machine. 
that, that has a mesh agent connected. I can right click on it and I can say remote desktop. And I can also say remote desktop with uh, ask for the user consent or the privacy bar and so on. But I'll just click on user on remote desktop here to get the default. So and of course my default because the server settings has the privacy bar on. And so now I can see the same thing that I saw on uh, in Chrome. Uh, but uh, a few differences here. Of course, the the display selector is on the top, and so I can click there, click there, click there, and switch displays, and disconnect, connect. Um, I don't know if I can make it happen, but if I can make, uh, for example, the screen pop, then let's see if I can. Yeah. Anyway. I can't really make it happen, but sometimes you'll see a little bit of artifacts when it switches, and that's due to me having the um, the uh, multiplexer turned on. So there's something called a display multiplexer. And so right now what's going on is that the agent is sending a single virtual stream uh, to the server, and the server is splitting it to uh, my central router and to these two browsers. So now I have three people watching. So I have the uh, my central router and these two browsers. But uh, the agent is only sending one stream to the server. OK, so now in Mesh Central uh, Router, there's something that is possible here that I can't do on the web page, or not yet. And that is the split icon right there, the split button. So if you select one screen, the split button is not there. But if you select multi-display, all displays, and you see multiple displays on the screen at once, you can hit the split button. And that will split the screens into separate windows. And so now I can just move one window or I can go in the other windows, but I can basically see both screens simultaneously on two different windows. Now, this is super useful if you have uh, on the local side, you have two displays, then you can, um, oops, you can see here. Interesting. Uh, if you have two displays, you can basically hover this these two onto you know, your two displays. And then you can basically work um, you know, on both displays simultaneously. And now here I'm showing you with just one, uh, both displays in different windows. And the nice thing is I can just, I can kind of um, basically use both windows simultaneously here. You know, I can drag and drop across and it works. Or I can take the file manager and kind of drag it and of course, my, wind, my mouse is not going to be in the right position on the second one. But you can see that it works. I'm, I'm actually controlling the two displays onto two different windows. Now, obviously, the, for the mesh agent, it's only sending one full canvas. And the mesh central router has, gets the information from the agent on uh, where the, each screen is, like the screen identifier and the position, width, and height of the screen, so it can properly cr crop the screens to, um, to each window. But for, as far as the agent is concerned, it doesn't see a difference. It's only uh, sending one virtual screen. Now, you can, you can hit the Join button, and then it, that joins back the two screen into one. I can hit Split again. But if I select one, a, a, a single display, then it kind of joins again. And I can go to display number two and then uh, go to all displays and splits one more. And then I got my split here. So that is pretty cool. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show today is really the ability to, um, to have Mesh Central support multiple displays on the remote side and how useful that can be for uh, working and remotely administering your computers. Thank you very much. Have a great day.